Hello and welcome in this presentation. Star Advanced Designer is a network design software that has design automation capabilities as well as an embedded map that supports manual network design operations. Let's have a look at the interface and the main components of Star. You can see here several tabs. They'll give you access to a part of the data necessary to complete a project. The Project tab summarizes the general information of the project name, description, and other general information. The Infrastructure tab is where you load and define the infrastructure used for the project, such as roads, aerial lines, ducts, and so on. The Architecture tab is where you define nodes of the network, central offices, FCP, FDT, whatever the names, those nodes can be preset or you can ask the software to calculate them for you by specifying some rules. The optimizer is where you specify and set the rules for routing the network. The cabling is where you define all the optical architecture of the software, of the network. And the map is where you can view and modify the elements of the network. Here you can see the map. On this map, you can visualize all the elements of the network uh, that I've showed earlier, the premises, uh, the central office, which is here, the fiber concentration points, who are um, here, and here, and for other here, and the fiber distribution points that have not been created yet because we haven't uh, run the network. So, okay, you can see the six um, FCPs, and let's have a look at the uh, reusable pathways. So, ducts, building entry ducts that you can see, overhead lines for the power, overhead line here also, and civil work. Just add all these infrastructures plus the premises to connect. Cabling tab. Uh, the cabling options allows you to specify uh, the optical architecture of your network level by level and also infrastructure by infrastructure which is uh, very advanced. Okay, now that we have entered all our parameters, uh, infrastructures, architecture, uh, we've had a look at the optimizer and the cabling rules. We want to launch our network and see how it looks. So I'll just press play here. We're going to have our results <coughs> hopefully in a few minutes. Okay, I believe the project has finished. By the way, I just paused it uh, during the computation, but we can see here that the whole process lasted uh, approximately two minutes. Now we can have a look at the map. Okay, this is our zone, and we can see that uh, the cables appeared as well as the network sections, which is basically the routes uh, of the network. Uh, in the cabling part, there is a splice closures, cables, and two other views that give detailed information about the cables. When we've uh, finished playing and uh, modifying our network and our zones and our cabling, we can export the results. So, uh, the exporting options, uh, summary report, configuration file, all sorts of uh, shape files, including uh, service areas of course, um, cables, splice closures, uh, reusable pathways, well basically everything and includes cable synoptics. So you can generate synoptics choosing where to start, um, about PM and where to end. Okay, these are some of the options available. Lastly, show um, you I will show the summary report, which is an Excel file, it opens in Excel, that shows you uh, the 
bill of quantities and material for your network uh, some information about the costs of the network a couple of charts and an overview of your uh, project switch back here okay um, that's it for me uh, thank you for your time